Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a reading for Leo and this is for the second half of September. Let's see what messages are coming. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you are not, hit that button and let's see uh, what messages are coming out. We have the Page of Swords. We also have here the Magician, the Fool, and let's take one more card. One more card for my Leos, and we are going to end it with the Ten of Cups. Wow, this is amazing. Very much amazing. Um, Nine of Pentacles. So this could also say that maybe you are wanting to be in a relationship or not seeing yet your own stability. Nine of Pentacles in the upright uh, is very much a, uh, a card of being self-sufficient, really um, making your own independence. But this is about studies. So there's something here that you are studying, that you are redoing, or that you are learning. These are messages, what you're committing to. So if it's not a relationship, maybe you're committing yourself right now to, like your relationship is with your study at this time is the message that I'm getting. And here you are to create a whole new life for yourself and for your family or within a family with your whole happiness, Ten of Cups, even if it's not about the family, it is about having it all, but it is taking you, really creating something new. I feel like you're studying something or you're taking steps into really connecting with what is it that you want to create and taking a leap of faith towards complete happiness and fulfillment. Yes, we do have the new of life. So new of life with the magician and that, but the, it was in its reversal. So when I'm looking at a card of new in life, so it hasn't completely come to its own fruition yet. And it's asking you not to lose hope on that, right? So you must have the knowledge here to experience. Here it is again, um, there's inexperience. So uh, when the new of life is in reverse, you haven't fully experienced it yet. It is something very new, but it is to allow yourself to be very delicate about allowing yourself to open up, right? You're opening, you're at the beginning of things that have yet taken form. So you are coming into bringing something new and it's going to take its own time. And first you need to take the learning, not rush the learning, right? The new life has its own timetable for maturity. And it's very much about being here and now with the new life, right? Not needing to, for instant manifestation of that, but you are manifesting a new life and just realize that everything has its own timing. With the card, create space. So yeah, exactly that. So you are creating space for something new to align. So you are getting rid of what is old. The creating space is if you are studying, if you're doing something new, you are taking time in order to learn that new thing, to learn what is new. So you have to clear space, take out the noise so you can really go within and allow that to pop open within yourself and bringing more clarity within you, right? With the creating space card, number 38 is also very much a master number. So what is it that you're, you're making rooms? The creating space is making rooms for your dreams, for your new life. And in order to make room, you have to create space for the new desires by learning how to be happy now. Again, everything is happening now. So sometimes we want certain things in life to change, but it's up to each of us, right, to do something about it. So if you're applying the action of learning, you must know that it comes from that position where you're truly wanting the change so you can create the evidence of the desire of your manifestation of that change right? That was a mouthful. <laughs> okay. And visualize at the bottom. So it's saying that maybe you can't see how things are coming into. It's the fool. The fool cannot see what's in front of it. It's taking a leap of faith into the unknown. And that's what it is asking you to do. Um, the mind card and in initiation. So really the things that you tell yourself in your own mind really be very much leery about the thoughts that you keep saying. You're to free your mind. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be inspired by your divine love, wisdom, and strength. And intuition is if you're reading this card, your third eye is opening. Waking up, your third eye is your mystical eye seeing all from a loving perspective. Your physical eye sees conditionally in duality and your spiritual eye sees unconditionally in oneness. So it's about seeing to your own heart, Leo, and from this place is where you will see further, higher, into a higher and deeper version of you. You're on the new track. You're on the right track. You're studying something to bring it in about a new. It is about creating that space and realizing, be here and now, Leo. Everything is happening now. 
and as you start moving out, then the rest unfolds, right? So sending you love and light. Until next time, namaste.